just got reminded of Taylor Swift. That song of Taylor Swift. Are yaar, love story. Totally, the, the, this part is totally reminding me of love story. Na, 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 na. It's a love story, baby, just say yes. Yes. Oh my God. Totally. The song also over ha overall has this uh, early 2000 kind of feel, 2000, between 2006 to 2012 pop music. And of course, this is uh, the song definitely has been made, it, you know, kept in mind, you know, thinking about the Western audience because the song completely has that Western pop culture, you know, pop song feel, basically. And totally, this is like, I think maybe the song is inspired by Taylor Swift music because it's giving me absolutely like the vibe of her 2010, 12 songs. And that portion is completely reminding me of her song Love Story. Totally. Please don't kill each other. The This part is so addicting, na? The, uh, this one. I don't fall for boys like this. It's quite addictive, this part. Stage. Nice, of course, this is part of the album. When is the album releasing? When is the album releasing? But you know what, guys? It's see this year, it's been their Japanese songs that have that have really grooved to. Like I have actually grooved to their Japanese songs the most this year. It's not the Korean comebacks, it's not the English song, it's the Japanese song that have taken the center stage for me. I don't know why. Just the Japanese songs have 
a different vibe they just hit different it is happy songs are just another another league and they are i don't know why they just they are very superior for me for me if some if i have to suggest it's a music i will obviously you have the iconic wanna be and all of that but it's the japanese songs that i will be like highly recommending to like a listener that okay if you want to get into it's see yeah listen to that iconic you know want to be listen to not shy and all of that even mafia a lot of people don't like mafia in the morning that's one of my favorite it's see songs that's one of my favorite it's see songs because i don't know the song is structured really well but and even loko loko to is my one of my really favorite songs overall uh but i think songs like you know voltage and all of that the japanese songs something that i would highly highly recommend to people that know get into the japanese songs they sound they sound on another league only so about the song when the chorus starts it sounds completely like love story and i think that that sound probably has been sampled from there uh you know you na 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 you could be the prince and i'll be your princess it's a love story baby just say yes totally like please i won't even deny it that completely just got reminded me of that so it's just, just that part just that part but uh, you know i don't need boys like you that part is very very addictive and uh, overall nice the teenage concept i think last when did i see a nice teenage concept last time ah uh, but no this is this is something that you know i used to see in a lot of my early like in my teenage years and my college years these kind of videos was so pretty so so famous and you know the the high school teenage concept i like the high school concept i don't know why i feel a lot of people really underestimate the high school uh, or the teenage concept but if done well now they look really really good and here you can see there's this entire storyline going on like the beginning itself the video itself is very engaging the the guy comes in and all of he's saying hi and all the five girls are like and then there's this whole competitive thing that which is going on they're acting as the jealous you know the jealous girls that looks great firstly so i like the how the entire story goes up and at the end he's like no no i'm, I'm going to talk to someone else i'm just ignoring you fine uh you just friends so he completely friends over them but then she's they are like i don't need boys like so we have this entire story like which is kind of cute i like that though uh this is more like you know this kind of song is not really my jam uh i think i have listened to more of their japanese songs like i said i have listened to more of their japanese songs this year than the even even snickers after a point of time i got over it to be very honest now coming to the song itself i think the arrangement is pretty good in terms of their vocals and you know their parts and their individual parts all of that is good but you know it misses out on that itsy punch i i don't know if i'm able to explain it to you mitsies but itsy has a very very powerful i don't know in terms of chorus pre chorus they're very very powerful always every you pick up any itsy title track and this is of course not that not the title track so but still i would say that if you pick up any itsy title tracks they have a certain punch and power which I don't know. Itzy does really well. Itzy does really well, and that's what I call when I say the signature Itzy flavor to it. And that's their USP as a group. That's their USP as a group. So this song has that particular thing missing. Now I don't know if uh, the producers deliberately did that. That no, this is an English song, so we are going to mostly what what the you know Western pop is like. We're going to make it sound more like that. Which from a marketing standpoint and from like the expansion of the music standpoint makes complete sense because obviously now the competition is very very fierce and most of the K-pop uh, you know groups they are now looking into the West and trying to you know break into the Billboard charts and all of that. So for that, obviously you have to make music which is palatable to them as well and which is more palatable. uh globally if i should say so but all of us essentially love kpop for a reason and we love certain groups for a reason because you know every group has their own usp and their own signature sound which actually made them popular in the first place so from a business and marketing perspective i think the song is perfect and it's a good entrant and a good start but you know songs like loco and mafia in the morning uh even wanna be not shy you know the, the songs which actually make me love it see that that punch was missing from this particular song and it also has to do with me you know outgrowing certain genre and certain styles and certain kind of songs so that could also be the reason that's why i think i have been gravitated more towards the japanese singers and the japanese song because 
they are more palatable to my musical preference but i am actually very very curious to know from you guys uh, do you think this was a good start or do you think it could have been you know better considering you know they this is a pre release uh, and this is their uh, you know first full english you know official english pre release sorry uh, i'm fumbling uh, but i am actually very curious to know your opinion on this because you know like i said uh to make it more palatable and to make it more acceptable to the western pop this is a good entrant but do you think that no they should have made an english song which is you know more their kind i want to actually know your opinion on this so i'm going to move on to the last song uh from this of this video basically of this marathon video uh this is birthday by 10 i love 10 a lot his i don't know he's the whole package man he he looks amazing he dances so well he has a charisma that i really really like so yeah let's listen to the song oh, oh, oh. oh man i'm so ready baby turns and stands run me up for your devotion it's a bad romance got my body rocking in slow motion Ooh, please him it's just working guys it's just this this is working okay and lyrics to matlab don't even get me started with nct song lyrics everything about to perfect just the way your mama made it ah the choreography look at the way he moves kidding me right Oh, I like that 
tonight's your birthday. Every second, every minute, make me want to celebrate and celebrate. I want to appreciate the dancers also. They are doing a phenomenal job, man. Amazing. Like tonight's your birthday. Every second, every minute, make me want to celebrate and celebrate. We didn't get to see the white outfit. Let's make tonight your birthday. It was barely a glimpse of the white outfit, man. I wanted to see more of the white outfit. I wanted to see more of the white outfit. I have no words. I have no freaking words for this. I just didn't like to this video. I like this. Yes, I like this. I don't know. Let me stop this first. Oh my god. I am speechless. Oh my god. I I already like 10 a lot. I already like 10 a lot. But this made me love him even more. This made me love him even more because this was not just a song, but this was art. Like 10 brought in his complete charisma on this. Like he showed in this video why he's an amazing dancer, why he's an amazing singer and why he's born to perform, why he was born to become an idol. Like this song is just... So you guys tell me that NCT Lab songs are mostly what they compose. Did he compose this song? Something like it's, it's mostly like, you know, they compose or or they write or they think about the concept and all of that but uh, that's that's what you told me that you know this is nct lab is basically uh, showing their own talents you know so i wanna firstly though if he wrote this firstly though if he wrote this i am like dude bro what the hell like talk about sexy lyrics I mean, and I know. See, when I listen to NCT songs, I know the lyrics are going to be so sexy and sensuous and awesome. You know, something that will you know, tingle you. But, so firstly, so kudos to that. But secondly, the, the, just the falsetto he brought into that main chorus, like the hook, the hook of the song is beautiful. And if he composed this, I, I want to I want to know from where he got that inspiration because the beat was so good. It has a lot of primal feel to it. You know, this is like giving into your lustful emotions and the beat was just complimenting it so beautifully. The beat was just complimenting it so beautifully. Oh my God, I feel, I feel like I saw such a good performance. Like my God, this performance, this was, this was art. The, the choreography was just, oh my God. Sorry, I'm getting speechless. I'm getting speechless, but I loved it. I absolutely loved it. This was this was everything. So glad I included this also. So glad I included this on my reaction. So yeah, that ends the marathon. I don't know how I'm sure it has become over one hour. Sure it has become over one hour uh, of me recording and watching. But that's the fun. That's the fun when you when you uh, you know uh, enjoy something, then you don't even realize how the time flows. Aram se. So yeah, that's it guys. That was the full marathon of all the songs. I want to know your picks from this and uh, you know what impressed you the most, what did not impress you. I want to know all your thoughts in the comments below. And yeah, with that, I will end this video here. I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed also watching this. And yes, with that, I will end this and I will now see you soon on my next video. Bye. You are the cause of my euphoria.